All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to build one of these. All right, foresters. We are building feeders for the quail. This is going to go on the outside of the cage. This part is going to go inside the cage and the feed will be stored in here and will come down here for the quail to actually eat. So what we start with is a 12 inch piece of three inch PVC and a one and a half inch uh, PVC that's also 12 inches long. We start with the 12 inch PVC that's three inches long and we're going to glue a coupler in here that has threads on one side of it. Then we're going to go with a three inch to one and a half inch reducer for the bottom. And then we have a, uh, a um, one and a half inch 90 street. It has the female part that goes in there. Then we put our one and a half inch pipe that I drilled holes in for big enough for the whale to now this we're going to have to sand this down to make that smooth we got our cap here and then a threaded cap right there And this will be our other feeder. We also picked up a four inch to two inch uh, reducer that will sit in here, take the cap off, and we can use it as a funnel to fill the feeder. Now, take it back apart and we'll do some sanding on this where'd the sandpaper go oh here it is okay here is the one and a half inch piece with the cutters and I just um, used a bit to just drill those holes out yeah why are you sanding it because we don't want the when the quails eat in this they're going to stick their heads in, and when they eat, for some reason, I don't know why, they like to shake their heads. And that's why they're such messy eaters. But we don't want them cutting themselves on any sharp edges. So we want to make a nice... Nice, mm. smooth... What? What coarse sandpaper are you using? This is a uh, 80 grit sandpaper. That makes it pretty smooth. We're just getting all the burrs any sharp edges off of this we don't want any injuries to our quail
now you can see a pretty big difference. Nice and smooth, not so rough to the touch. So. All right, guys, here we go. We got we got the three inch. It's twelve inches long. And our PVC glue here. And this isn't going to be under pressure, so I'm not going to worry about priming it and cleaning it. Um, all it's doing, going to be doing is holding the food. So I'm only putting glue on one side instead of glue on one inside the fitting too. So there's our first coupler. And then now we're going to do the reducer. The glue's a little clumpy, but it will work for our purposes. You always want to stick it in there and then give it just a little twist. Now there's that. That's going to go just like so. Now we'll put the 90 on. I thought that was an, a U bend or. No, this is a 90 street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap on this end because this is all going to be outside of the. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. Glue on there, cap on, give it a little twist. Now, this is going to be on the smaller side of the cage, and we're going to put this in here, and we want to have this on just a slight angle like that. We don't want it straight up and down, but we want it on a slight angle. So this is the... this like that well, that gives us our angle and then now we just got the top and we'll let this dry it'll take uh, it only take about 10 minutes for it to dry completely and be hard um, it, it actually seizes up, you know, just in a few seconds, but this is how we're going to do the figure. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the sandpaper and we're going to sand down to rough up the plastic so it's not so smooth. And we're going to paint it with a, uh, a plastic paint. All right, guys. So I'm in charge of painting and... This is what I use. We're not being sponsored by them, but I use the ones for the uh, the plastic. I like the spray stuff. It's a lot easier and it dries a lot faster. So I've already started and I'm gonna finish off painting them. And what it is, is this is what the end result's gonna look like. It does not have to be pretty. It's just got to be protected from the sun. With us living down here in Florida, the sun's more intense. UV light is really bad. So we're just kind of protecting it to make this last as long as we can. So here we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, just don't get my butt. Here, let me finish spraying this part so because you're gonna be moving around. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm videoing. Oh, okay. I'll edit it. Oh, 
All right. I'm trying to get even strokes, but. Does not work well upside down. That looks good. All right. I think, does this thing need another coat? Yeah, a couple little spots there. All right. We're going to let this dry for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll come back. I'll check it. Any spots that I might have missed, we'll go over it again. But it's that simple. big enough. Ah. Ooh, look at that. Problem is, are they going to be able to reach it? I may have to put the block in there for them. That's when we do the babies. It's the way we got the... Okay guys, uh, we brought the feeders out. They've been painted. They're all painted. They're dried. And uh, because of the way we got this one built, I put a block underneath there for them to stand on. And all we gotta do is open this up. And we got our funnel right here. And now I'm gonna go get some feed and pour in there. All right, now, a little makeshift funnel. Did it come out? Yeah, there's some down there. Yeah, a little bit. It's getting stuck. It's full. But there's hardly anything down there. They'll go down there. They'll spread it. Are you sure? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you're trying to kick it around. There we go. There, got it. They keep trying to scratch it with their feet too. It's yeah, funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. Put the. What to do with the funnel? I think it's inside the feeder thing. Put this back in there and just let them finish it. Yeah, go ahead and put it in that one. Dump it in the thing. Well, I don't know how well that's going to go with the holes. <laughs> yeah, that is I'm just going to put it back in there. They can finish it all. It's either that or put it in the big one, the big, the loner, loner over here. Yeah. We gotta take the other feeder out. 
Yeah, we'll let him have it too. Is that full? Pretty close. About two scoops. Uh, Just a little bit more because I was having trouble getting it. this video give us a thumbs up comment subscribe hit the bell follow us on facebook twitter instagram and grow something for your family